All right, this video will show how one sprite interacts with another sprite. So we'll have a cat sprite that cannot go through another sprite, which we will call a wall sprite. The first thing we're going to do is create the wall uh, sprite. And we do this down in the bottom right hand corner. Pick the icon that looks like a paintbrush. It says paint, paint new sprite. When we click on this, all I'm going to do is hit the line tool, make the brush stroke pretty big. Actually, that's probably a little too big. So let's do that over. Hit clear. And make a line right down the center of the screen. Hit OK. I tried to name my sprites what uh, what it is and this is uh, a wall I'll call it so we'll program the sprite the cat sprite we'll call him oops we'll call him cat and we'll program it to move forward and backwards so when right arrow key is pressed then move 10 steps when left arrow key is pressed move negative 10 steps okay so as you can see the sprite moves from forward and backwards and right now if we go up to the wall sprite it goes right through it we don't want that to happen. So in the controls you want an if statement. So move forward if this cat sprite is touching the wall, which we changed the sprite to to wall, then you can stop script, but what actually we could do it this way. If not touching the wall, move forward 10 steps. So we move forward, it's touching the wall so we can no longer move forward but we can move backwards. However, in many cases, you'll have the same code in the back arrow. So let's put this in the back arrow as well. If not touching oops, the wall, move negative 10 steps. So we're going, f if we put the sprite, stop it put the sprite on the other side of the wall and we move backwards again we get to the wall we can't touch but because you can't touch using the right and left arrow key the sprites touching the wall right now so I can't even move forward so I would suggest writing the code more like this if touching the wall well if the right arrow is pressed move 10 steps but if it is touching the wall move back 10 steps to the point where you weren't touching the wall so as we move forward as you can see it doesn't really touch the wall because really what it's doing is touching the wall moving fa uh, back and it's doing it so quickly that you can't see it and that way you could still move backwards and forwards and that we can do with the left arrow as well move negative 10 steps but if it's touching the wall then you want to move forward 10 steps we'll get rid of this knot so we uh, I don't have the down arrows working right now so we can go backwards but see it never really touches the wall because once it touches it 
um, the if set statement is reached and it moves it forward. So now we can move forward and backwards. And that's how you have the sprites interact with each other.